You know, it's hard to simplify life. Narrowing the focus seems impossible. Over this past year, you may have been asked hundreds of times, how is it going? Your response was probably something like, I have been so busy. You never hear someone say, I've had so much time on my hands and I'm looking for something new to do. As far as I know, that person doesn't exist. Stay tuned. Bible 360 starts right now. Welcome to the Bible 360 Podcast. I'm your host, Keiston France, and whether you're an athlete or not, you have tons of responsibilities and your schedule is crazy, am I right? I mean, if it's not crazy, then that's great. But for the most part, you feel like you are sprinting on the field and also sprinting in life. That is why we need to be intentional about clarifying and simplifying life. So I have a suggestion for you. Let's develop just one word as a theme for this year. That's right. Just one word. In the movie City Slickers, there is a scene that reveals the value and magnitude of one thing. Billy Crystal plays Mitch, a vacationing businessman who, along with two friends, takes on the adventure of a cattle drive. In the middle of the drive, a rough-necked cowhand named Curly tells Mitch that the secret to life is just one thing. Curly emphasizes the point by holding one finger up and saying you need to stick to that one thing. To this, Mitch replies, what is that one thing? Curly responds back, that is what you got to figure out. Curly is not a Bible scholar, but he does recognize the power of just one thing. Even though the Bible does not have the phrase one word theme, it is interesting to note that the phrase one thing appears five times in the Bible, once in Philippians and four times in the Gospels. In Philippians 3, 13 through 14, Paul uses the phrase one thing to bring focus and clarity to his calling. In Luke 10, verse 42, Jesus says to Martha, only one thing is needed. Both Luke 18 and 22 and Mark 10 and 21 include his words to the rich man and express a lack of one thing. John 9 and 25 also includes this phrase as the blind man tells the Pharisees, one thing I do know, I was blind, (laughs) but now I see. In the same way that scripture uses these words, we also can put it to use by asking God to reveal a one word theme for us this year. So when I first started this process, half of the fun was choosing the word for the year. But I've learned that it is not necessarily us who chooses the word, but rather God who reveals it to us. God can indeed drop an anointed specific word into your soul. Now, the first couple times, I'd have to admit that it was 99% of me (laughs) picking the word and 1% God speaking. Even so, God still used it. But as I became more experienced in the process, I learned to really listen and watch for God's leading in selecting the word. You want a God word, not just a good word. Every day, you'll be blessed as you experience God revealing to you powerful truths about your one word theme. Everywhere you turn, there will be new insights and valuable lessons associated with that word. So enjoy the process and remember, just one word, not a phrase, not even two words. Narrow the focus for life change. Just one word. Think about it.